At seven o'clock tonight, it's the game the country's been waiting for, the World Cup quarterfinal. But you know what? This could be a rather tasty undercard. With so many postponements today, there's a good incentive now for both clubs. If Tunbridge win, they know they'll be in the playoffs and could be as high as fifth. And for Weymouth, if they avoid defeat, they're off the bottom for the first time since August. Weymouth, a very different side to the one that played Tunbridge on the opening day of the season with new manager Bobby Wilkinson and the latest of their new signings, David Cissé, making his debut on loan from Wealdstone. For Tunbridge, it's the same 11 and the same subs as the win over Eastbourne in midweek. Jordan Greenwich, the man to watch, five in five, faces his former side. Very cold afternoon here at Longmead and Weymouth make the uh, early start and there's Ash. Oh, he's got away from his man there. Early chance for them. Johnny Henley stopping that one and Rose is there and Brian Barrett clears the ball away. First decent chance of the game going to Weymouth. Guard forward to Greenwich. This is Jack Wood. Scored his first goal in midweek and he shoots but it's a little too high for him from distance. Swift with the header. Aaron Sibia forward. There's Gard and now Scott Wagstaff. Wagstaff getting it out to Wood on the right-hand side. He gets across in. It evades Greenwich. Gard's at the far post. It's in the side netting. Well, only just evaded Greenwich, who's looking for his sixth goal of his loan spell. And here's Weymouth going forward on the uh, left-hand side. This is Ash. Does well to get away from his man. Plays the ball in for Rose. And it's a chance for Bearwish. And it's there. Weymouth have scored. But it won't count because the referee had already blown for a foul on the edge of the area. A lifeline for Tunbridge. Here comes the ball in from O'Connell. And Rose heads it in. It's a goal anyway for Weymouth. They take the lead. Akeem Rose with a header to give the visitors the first goal of the game on 23 minutes. Tunbridge nil, Weymouth won. Well, it was a very good delivery from the free kick from Keelan O'Connell. And Rose rose above everybody else, if we excuse the uh, mix-up of words, and in it goes. Wonder. Well, there's Ash. Nice little back heel from him. Blair, right-hand side, plays it in. O'Connell, too. Well, it's the second goal in, what, three minutes for Weymouth, and a beautiful volley coming in from Keelan O'Connell, who set up the first goal and got on the end of that confidently. Lovely cross from Tom Blair, right-hand side, and there was O'Connell who got in front of Tariq Hines and gave Johnny Henley no chance. Tumbridge nil, Weymouth two. Who would have thought this after midweek? But here's Greenwich now, trying to get a bit of respectability back on the scoreline. Going forward for Tunbridge, gets across in towards the far post. It comes to Golding. Oh, he just took a little bit too much time, and it was cleared away by the Weymouth defence. And Sibia Wagstaff goes in, foul by Wagstaff on Rose, says the referee. And that'll be a free kick to Weymouth. And Wagstaff can't believe it, he feels he got the ball. And the referee has a card in his hand and Scott Wagstaff will be the first player cautioned in the game. There's a nice ball there from Blair, it's headed out by the Angels defence. And Jack Wood, always oh, giving the ball away there. And there's a little ball in the middle there. It comes to Ash. Round about six yards out. Oh, lovely finish. It's three. Well, Tunbridge will have it all to do in the second half. And it looks like Weymouth are going to go in at the break with a three-goal advantage. Brad Ash converting past Johnny Henley. Where did this Tunbridge performance come from? And looking at Weymouth's league position, where did this performance come from for them? Lovely little finish there from uh, Brad Ash. Great control. Firing it past Henley. Tunbridge nil, Weymouth three. Well, it's going to be a difficult half-time team talk for uh, Jay Saunders to get these three goals back. Here's Ash on the uh, left-hand side now for uh, Weymouth as we approach the end of first-half stoppage time. Oh, he's going in through. He's going towards goal. Rose lays it off for him. Ash with another strike and it's four. What is going on here at Longmead? Who predicted this one at the start of the day? Brad Ash with his second goal. And Weymouth's fourth. Tunbridge nil, Weymouth four. Well, how many players did he beat there? He beat the three players on the corner of the area, then got past Aaron Sibby. A little touch there from Rose, and he fired it past Henley for 4-0. Well, Tunbridge have made two half-time substitutions. Do they believe they can get anywhere near these four goals back? There's a ball in there from Hines. Just evades Greenwich at the far post. It's Wood now with it on the left-hand side for Tunbridge. If they're going to get these four goals back, it'll be a comeback we'll be talking about for some time. But his cross is taken by Zaki Wala, and uh, that's the end of that one. Here's Weymouth going forward now with Tom Blair. Ash is going through the middle. Is he on for a hat-trick? It's the hat-trick for Ash and it's five for Weymouth. My word, he scored those three goals in, what, nine minutes? It's Tunbridge nil, Weymouth five. All five have come in about half an hour of play. 
And the game surely all over, or I think it probably was towards the end of the first half. Lovely ball there through the uh, Tunbridge defence, picked up by Ash. If he didn't get it, O'Connell would have done. And Ash puts it over Johnny Henley for five. Well, on this performance, it's hard to really see how Weymouth are bottom of the table. And I don't think they're going to be there for long. In fact, well, they will go off the bottom with this uh, result today. Now Tunbridge trying to go inside. Oh, no, Weymouth are going to start another attack. And Sonny Miles has got to be careful. And Ash is going forward here. He just loses his footing, but he does get a shot away. It's a little bit too high over the top of the bar as he looked for Weymouth six and his fourth of the game. And this is certainly turning into a game that nobody expected here. I think it's got to the stage now where the Tunbridge fans just can't wait to get to the end of the game and get home and watch the England match. There goes ball now to uh, O'Connell on the left-hand side. Can O'Connell get that ball into the air? He's going to get past Fielding, takes a deflection. Henley dives to his left-hand side to keep that one out, but it was a good effort from him. There's Greenwich. Little ball there past Collins. Goes to Fielding on the right-hand side. Fielding chips up one over. It's a header down. It's a chance now for Wood, but the referee is blown for a foul by Greenwich. Free kick from the left-hand side, and Weymouth, it looked like, uh, going to be able to get that one away. Just on the edge of the area. 20 minutes to go. Will they see even more goals in this game? It's a long one, but Johnny Henley out of his area clears it away. Oh, he doesn't get a proper clearance on that. It comes to Rose. He fancies it from, what, 40 yards or so. Doesn't get the shot right. And there's Fielding now on the right-hand side for Tunbridge. Gets the ball in the area. And it's dealt with by the Weymouth defence. And it's going to be a Tunbridge uh, corner. If that's if it did go out of play. But in fact, no, because the referee has blown the full-time whistle. And the scoring may have ended five minutes into the second half. But no doubt about this result this afternoon. Weymouth, their best performance of the season so far. And for Tunbridge, one to forget. Tunbridge nil, Weymouth five.